Hi, you are. Today we're going to be talking about getting prepared for a Zoom online session. We recommend doing this a day before your session, just so you know that everything works and there's no surprises on the day of your session. Uh, it's always stressful if you're trying to troubleshoot or figure something else out um, right before you go into your interview. So do this the day before. We send you an email 24 hours before your session. So maybe that can be a good reminder to you if you're doing a Zoom meeting. When you get that email, you say, oh yeah, I need to do the things listed in this video. So step one, you wanna make sure that Zoom is downloaded on your computer. If it's already downloaded, then you wanna make sure that it is the up, most up-to-date version of Zoom. I have included a Zoom start guide that lists all the things that you need to do to uh, download Zoom on your computer. I'll link that below. If you already have Zoom on your computer, you'll want to click Zoom, go up here to check for updates. As you can see, I'm all up to date, so that's good news. Step two, you wanna make sure that you know where the audio and video settings are on your computer and that both work prior to the session. So to do that, I'm just going to start a meeting. Join with computer audio and Right. So as you can see, there's a mute button down here. Mute, unmute, mute, unmute. And here's the start video. Hello. Um, so it's good to remember that almost every single time, 99.99% .99 of the time, researchers want both your audio and your video on. So make sure that you have tested both and that you're going into your session expecting that both your audio and video will need to be turned on for the meeting. And then to check to make sure that your audio and video work, if you go up to Zoom and Preferences, you will see the input level. You can see as I'm talking, it's going, um, it's picking up my voice. And then here's my video. Hello again. And then we recommend with your audio that you have a pair of wired headphones handy. Uh, you'd be surprised that even though Bluetooth headsets and wireless headsets are great, they often will either the battery will die or they will lose signal or something of the sort. So have a pair of wired headphones that you've tested on those um, audio settings that I just showed you handy so you can grab them should you need them. Uh, nothing worse than being midway through a sentence and your headphones die. So wired headphones are handy. Step three, you wanna make sure that you know where the chat and the share settings are on Zoom. So here we are, here's a chat setting. So we're just gonna pretend that I'm the researcher and I am wanting to watch you go to a web page. So I'm sending you to this link. Now, if you're on the other, if you're on the receiving end of that chat, it would just say a little one right here, almost like a text message to show you that the, um, there's, a, there's something in the chat that's new. So you click, you're gonna copy it, and then you're going to go to your browser and you're just gonna paste it in. Awesome, we're on the web page they want us to be at. Now we wanna share our screen with the researcher. So we're just going to click share screen. I wanna share this desktop and I click share. If you notice down here, it says you are sharing, screen sharing. So if you just pretend that we're in a session and we're, we're doing our thing. And then the researcher says, okay, great. We're all finished. You can stop screen sharing. To do that, you will just go down here and click stop share. Awesome. We're making progress here. So I'm just going to end this meeting. And the fourth step to making sure you're prepared before a Zoom meeting is to make sure you have a fully charged computer and that your computer is plugged in and that you have a strong internet connection that's stable. So no surprises, you won't get um, kicked out from your internet or your computer won't die midway through the session. I recommend day before when we're going through all these steps to go where you would do your interview. So for me, I'm in my office. This is where I do my interview. I'm gonna run the speed test from this room. So I've just Googled speed test and I will run a speed test. This will show how fast your internet connection is if it is low, I would recommend trying in another room and running the test again and trying to find the best, most speedy internet connection you can wherever it is in your house and conducting the interview there. All right.
That brings us to the end of this video. If you follow these steps the day before your session, we have no doubt you will be ready to go into your Zoom meeting. We hope you enjoyed participating. Thank you.